Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin, if you are new here, and today I'm just gonna get right into it because I have a lot of work to do. I am going to be organizing my super messy closet. Look at that floor, can you believe it? I can't believe it that I live like this, but I cannot walk into my closet right now, and it's a bit of a problem. I'm gonna sit in the doorway of my closet and kind of talk you through what's going on in here. Uh, this is my tripod that broke as things fall on me. So that needs to either get fixed somehow, which I don't think is gonna happen, or I need to throw it away, uh, which is a shame, but I do have a new one coming. This is a level that I use to do my bedroom shelves. If you haven't seen that video, um, I actually didn't show building the shelves, but I showed styling them. So um, I'll have a link in the card above for that video because it was pretty fun and cool to do. This is an organizer for when I'm ready to organize the closet. This, these are the clothes I was wearing not 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Um, this is basically a brand new clean shirt, so I need to clean that up. This stuff in this suitcase is all my um, winter clothes, and I might actually have to get rid of a lot of these because I live in LA now, so we don't really have winter the way that we had in Chicago. Chicago gets crazy winters, which is not my speed. I much prefer the constant sunshine of Los Angeles, but I have this entire suitcase full of um, winter clothes like sweaters and scarves and all those knitted things. So these might all end up getting uh, donated. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to get up for that. <laughs> Next thing I have is my steamer, which I highly recommend getting one of these if you don't have one already because they are lifesavers. I hate ironing, like getting out the ironing board and all that. So a steamer is essential for not having wrinkled clothes all the time. Here are my towels. I actually need to sort something out because we don't have a linen closet here. I kind of want to build more shelves for the bathroom, <laughs> uh, but that takes so much time and effort. So. But for right now, my towels apparently belong on the floor of my closet. Jeans. Ooh, I actually really like this dress. It just needs to be hung up and probably steamed. I always hold on to this skirt. I've had this skirt for like, I don't know, maybe five years or something, and I always hold on to it. Okay, it hasn't been that long. Four years? Something like that. I always hold on to the skirt when I go through my closet because I think, oh, it's so cute and like I should wear it, but I never wear it. I think it's finally time for it to maybe get donated, which is a shame because I really like it still, but I literally never wear it because it doesn't actually look good on me. I just like the way that I think it will look. Is anyone else like that? <laughs> you like the image you have of it in your mind and then when you put it on, it's not the same. Yeah. That's how I feel about that. Okay, so this sweater needs to go in with the uh, winter stuff, but God, do I love this color. I wish it were fall all the time. But yeah, it's just so beautiful. I love this sweater. And it has this like rounded hem, which I love. I love rounded hems instead of just straight across. I need to decide if I like this still. I always love sweaters with little uh, elbow patches, but I kind of ignore the rest of the sweater because I <laughs> like the elbow patches so much. Yeah, I'll try this on as a maybe as well. I love this sweater, but I feel like LA might be too warm for it. It's the red uh, collar heart sweater that I absolutely love. This is one of the softest sweaters I own and also like a pretty good color on me, I'd say, because it's not too washed out of a pink. It's cozy and I like it and I'm keeping it. This sweater is the sweater. I actually have two of them because mine was getting, my original one was getting a little pilled and I am like 
known for this sweater that my sister got me for Christmas and it's duplicate that I now have but I've been trying to kind of get away from it for years now I literally think I got it for Christmas of 2014 this is the sweater it's from loft and it just has a big bird on it Put a bird, bird on it. it which is adorable I get that but you know those clothes that people just associate you with and you feel like guilty parting with them in any way that's this sweater for me and I have two I like really locked myself down with it. We'll see if I keep it still. One hour later. Six and a half hours later. I now need to sort through these two cloth baskets that I have full of my workout stuff and my undies and bras and things like that. So I will probably sort through that off camera, but these are no longer going to be sitting on top of that drawer thing that I have in my closet. Okay, so some progress has been made. This is the status of the bed right now. And if I pan over to the closet, it's still, oh, focus, there we go. It still pretty much looks the same, but I have all of my clothes hung up there. I next need to sort out my shoes once the bed is cleared off, but here's the status. Oh, look, it's a teddy. Hey, teddy. I'm also watching a little uh, Zoe <laughs> vlog right now from like 2017, I think. And I am making some progress. Okay, so the time has come to sort out my shoe collection. Starting with these brown sandals, um, I will definitely be keeping these because they're still in pretty good condition. Not too scuffed up or anything. Not worn to death. Um, so also, I love, love, love these brown sandals. The brand is Rock and Candy by Ziggy. I love the block heel. Um, it gives some good high and like elongates my leg but also feels very comfortable. I can wear these all day and not really have any foot pain um, or back pain which is huge because wearing heels I always feel like I can't wear them for that long. I'm not really a heel person uh, but these are great. Uh, these Chelsea boots I don't know what it is about them, but I get tons of compliments on them. Um, at the same time, I have similar Sam Edelman boots, but I feel like they're pretty practical and my Sam Edelman boots, which I'm definitely planning to keep, are suede with brown and then these are leather, well faux leather, with black heels. So they're different enough that I think I'm keeping both pairs. These boots are super fun and give me a bit of a more edgy vibe to them. If I find boots this winter or fall that I feel can replace these, I might do that because these are like a few years old now and I'm not sure that they're exactly in style, but they are a good basic higher boot. These are the shoes that I have that it's so hard to part with them but I've had them for six years or so and I just never wear them like actually never wear them uh, which are these naturalizer Oxford style shoes with a block heel again crazy about the block heel if you couldn't tell it's hard to get rid of something that you've like had a dream for um, for so long I need to keep them I feel like I need to keep them there's something in me saying I, I need to, so 
Cute pile. Two thousand years later. closet cleanup video thank you so much for watching liking subscribing i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one bye